In single variable integration, there are two versions of the integral, the definite and the indefinite integral. And I'm going to talk about the indefinite integral first. In single variable calculus, the indefinite integral of a function was some antiderivative function, capital F, up to an arbitrary constant. This antiderivative, capital F, was some function whose derivative is the original lowercase f. So, if f is a scalar field instead of a single variable function, is there a version of this? Well, there is a variable dx in the indefinite integral. I could just make that one of the input variables. And this is possible. Here are three indefinite integrals. These are roughly the equivalent of the partial derivatives. In each, I pretend the other variables are constant and integrate as if it were a single variable integral. We don't really call this a partial integral, but that's essentially what it is. And there isn't much more to say here. Like the partial derivatives, there is no new technique here. All the rules and algorithms are the same as before. And this is also the only extension of the indefinite integral. There is no general indefinite integral. That notion remains a single variable notation. And this makes some sense. The indefinite integral meant do a derivative backwards. And as I've shown in the last three weeks, the derivative is a pretty complicated thing to generalize. It was a gradient, it was a tangent plane, it was a Jacobian, it was a bunch of other things. There isn't a single derivative to do backwards here. The whole idea of an indefinite integral really doesn't scale up other than just a reverse of an individual partial derivative. Well then, what about the fundamental theorem of calculus? The fundamental theorem was the idea that tied together single variable calculus. There were many versions of it, all of them shown here on the slide, but they were all equivalent to the main idea that a derivative and an integral are inverse operations. For now, the only version of this that will extend is the partial derivative version. This is basically still the single variable fundamental theorem. A partial derivative and a single variable integral, a partial integral if you wish, are still inverse operations to each other. At this point, this is as far as the fundamental theorem goes. You might think, since I've given up on any idea of an indefinite integral, that there isn't much more to say about the fundamental theorem either. This would be very wrong. The if an indefinite integral doesn't extend any more than this, but the fundamental theorem will return in some very surprising ways. Its extensions will still tie together the whole idea of multivariable calculus, and I look forward to showing that to you in a few weeks.